So welcome to English today. Uh, today we will be talking about adjectives a little bit more. But today we will be talking about comparative and superlative adjectives. I know these are very big words so, and maybe these um, are comparative and superlative adjectives. Uh, yesterday we talked about just adjectives and we learned that they are words to describe nouns but with comparative or superlative adjectives we are talking about more than one noun we use comparative for two nouns or superlative for more than two so first we'll start with comparative adjectives if you want to compare two things about which is more of an adjective, this is comparative adjective. In Thai, if you can think about wa, like wa, using that with an adjective. So I hope you have already done this before sometime with English. Um, so maybe this will just be a review to start. So usually um, in English, we will write the noun that is more of an adjective than the other noun first. This is the same as Thai. You say the person that is more tall or more fat, or more handsome, you say first, and then wa, and then the person that is less after, or the thing, any noun, whatever noun you are talking about. So this is the sentence structure. So first word, again, always in sentences is the subject. Who is more of something? Then the verb to be, and then adjective plus er. You must add er to an adjective to make it a comparative adjective. Then you write the word than. This shows that you're comparing to. And then the object, or the person or the thing that is less than the other person or thing. So I will go through some examples with you. So here, the subject is all the yeah, same color. Yeah. Subject is teacher Ryan. Teacher. So it is the person. Yeah, yeah. yeah. on. Yeah. I like on. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. name is teacher Ryan. Uh, so I use myself in the subject. The subject is red, teacher Ryan. Then verb to be is blue. So verb to be for one person. Okay. So the subject is in red, is a person. And then the verb to be is in blue. Right. Students, please mute your microphone. Okay. It is difficult for me to speak English while I hear a lot of Thai being spoken. Uh, I understand maybe you are talking with your parents, but not everybody wants to hear about you talking with your parents. So just mute your microphone, turn off. And okay, you can talk, no problem. Um, so again, subject is in red, is teacher Ryan. An example, verb to be is is in blue. The adjective is tall. It is in green. And then you add er. So it's taller. And then than. And the object I chose is jai. Can be anybody. Teacher Ryan is taller than mine. Teacher Ryan is taller than Alice. Anybody. 
Okay. But this is the sentence structure. You must have the word than. I notice many students, uh, they don't say this word sometimes. But you must have in English. You cannot say teacher Ryan is taller than Jai. You cannot say. You must say the word than. So please remember to write that in comparative adjective sentences. So we'll go through some more examples to show you. Um, I think this should be review. I think most people should know already. So this one, a snake is longer than an ant. So the first subject is a snake. And it is longer, yagua, than an ant. You put the one that is less second and the one that is more first. Same as pot. So I think it's easy. So another example is an elephant is bigger than a lion. You cannot just write an ER big. You must um, okay, students. Uh, uh, I will have to mute you all because there is too much time. Okay. So with bigger, you cannot just add er. Big is B I G, cannot be B I G E R. You must have two G's. So this will change. If you have one G, you will say this word biger. The sound of the I will change. If you have two G's, then it tells you that the I will not change sounds. It will just be bigger, not biger. There are many words like that and you must re remember them. So another example is a horse is heavier than a dog. So heavy, again, you do not just add ER. If a word ends in Y, like heavy, then you must change the Y to an I before you add ER. You cannot write H-E-A-V-Y-E-R. You cannot write like this, not correct, okay? So I will try to give you some practice words. Maybe you can write in the chat if you can fill in the blanks. I think it should be easy, so most of you can do. So a butterfly is than a cat with the adjective small. So what word will write in the blank? Uh, okay. So Nana says small Er, yes, small with an ER. Oh, this is an A. I must see writing. Uh, okay, smaller. Okay, good. How about the next one? A dog is da, 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 a buffalo with the adjective smart. Smarter. So I think these ones, you know, these are pretty easy, I think. So how about this one? A bird is a turtle with the adjective fast. I say smart king, no I N G. Mm. So this is 
faster than you must have faster just one t and plus than this sentence does not have than so we must use than okay and next one how about giraffes the than zebras with the adjective tall So what can you write in here? You can see there are two spaces. So there are two words, not just one, not giraffes taller than zebras. Not taller than, you have than already. Uh, R. Taller, you must have verb to be. N is giraffes is more than one. So we use the verb to be are, not verb to be is, because there is more than one. And how about sharks? Fish, adjective heavy. So this one, there are three words that are missing. So sharks are heavy with an I, heavier than fish. Oh, with this one, you have an S on sharks. Fish, there is no S, but it's still more than one fish. Fish, we don't add an S to, but it's still more than one. So you do not write ah. No ah. Okay. You guys can get that easy, I think. But if there is more than one syllable in a word, sometimes if there is two syllables, it will be, you add ER. Sometimes it will not be like that. It will be like three or more syllables. So if you have many syllables in an adjective, we will write the sentence a little bit different. You will write the subject, which is the same, verb to be the same, then you will write the word more. And then the adjective with no ER, there's no ER. And then than, and then the object. So here is it. Who is pu pre not ah so the subject here again is teacher ryan but the adjective is different now the adjective is beautiful and beautiful has mo has three syllables beautiful be one te two four three so beautiful there are three. So you must write more. You cannot write beautifuler. You cannot add ER to beautiful. Teacher Ryan is more beautiful than mind. Ching, ching, no. No, just joking. So we'll try to practice this sentence structure. I hope you have done this before and you can do it again. So a parrot, da, 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 then a worm, with the word adjective beautiful. So if you write in here, a parrot, 
is more beautiful than a worm. So next one, a tiger is ta 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 than a fish with the adjective dangerous. So a tiger is more dangerous than a fish. So how about a horse? A horse is ta 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 than a dog with the adjective expensive. Again, they're all the same. You just, it's just simple practice. You just write the word more before the adjective expensive. No, expensive. Okay. So here is a list of adjectives. Maybe they are new adjectives. We have talked about adjectives I think you already know. And so here are some new ones. So brave or comparative adjective is braver. Calm, calm, calm or calmer. Clean, clean or cleaner. This one, attractive. It has three syllables. Attractive. So we write more. This one has two syllables. So we write more with this one as well. This one is honest. You do not say the H. It is not honest. Just honest. You do not say the H. So just on est. This one is confident. 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 This one is not generous. G E will make a J sound. So this is gen er us. Generous. This one is powerful, powerful. This one is loyal, loyal. And loyal, you have the same word as honest in Thai. These are the same words, but in English, they do not have the same meaning. They are different. Honest means you do not lie. You don't, you don't lie. You will always say the truth. What you say is true. Loyal. Loyal means that you won't hurt your friends. You won't go against your friends or your family. You will stay with them. You will be on their side, on their team. You will be loyal to them. Or your country, or Thailand, your family, your friends, maybe your job or your school. You won't go against them. And last one, pay. And then this T sounds like an SH. So this is pay shent. Pay shent. It is not patient or you do not say the T like a T. It's patient. Patient. I don't know if my Thai there is correct or not. That's why I try to pronounce it for you. Patient. Okay. So hopefully you can learn some new words. There are 10 words here. But I don't know if you know them already or not. Maybe they are new. Okay, so next we will talk about superlative adjectives. So these you're talking about the most of an adjective with 
three or more nouns. If it is just two nouns, you use comparative. If it's just one noun, you just use adjective. But if it's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and you want to say the most, or in Thai you say tisut, then we'll use a superlative adjective. So the sentence structure is similar to comparative, but a little bit different. So subject plus verb to be the same, and then the word the. You must write the word the. And then add est to the adjective. And then the object is an object group, usually. It is not just one. If it's just one person, then you'll use comparative adjective. So it's usually a group. So I'll go through um, some examples. So again, subject is teacher Ryan. Verb to be or one name, we use the verb is, verb to be is, then the, you must have the word the. I have some seen some students do not write this word, but you must write it. You cannot say teacher Ryan is tallest teacher. You cannot say, you must have the word the. And then the adjective tall with E-S-T and then teacher. I am just one teacher, so there is no S. But teachers, there is a group of teachers at Anuban, more than just one. There are many teachers. So that is an object group, is more than one person, not just one. So I'll do some more examples to go through with you. Um, a snake is the longest reptile. So reptile is a type of animal, like a lizard is a reptile. And so out of all the reptiles, snake are the longest reptile. So an elephant is the biggest Thai animal. So out of all the Thai animals, an elephant is the biggest animal from Thailand. And again, we do not say B-I-G-E-S-T. You cannot just add E-S-T. Again, you must add another G. It must be B-I-G-G-E-S-T. And a horse is the heaviest pet. So again, pet out of all your pets can be a cat, a dog, um, can be a fish, anything um, heaviest. And again, why you must change to I, the same as with ER. So again, we can try to fill in the blanks. So an ant is the da, 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 animal. Uh, Smallest animal. So there is more than one animal. There's a group of animals. But an ant is only one animal, so we do not add S to animals. Because we're only talking about ant, but is in the group, a group of animals. So next, a dog is the pet. Again, this is similar. So smart, smartest. A dog is the smartest pet. Okay. How about this one? A bird is da -da -da, animal. Here there are two spaces. So you know there are two words. Which word? Uh, yes, this one does not have the word the, so we must write the word the first, and then fast plus E-S-T. 
And the next one, giraffes. As you can see, if you add an S to the subject, then it means all giraffes, all giraffes. So if you have all the giraffes, then they are more than one animal. So you add an S here. So the two words that are missing here are, oh, there are three words missing. The, are the tallest. I only put two spaces, but there are three words. You must have verb to be, you must have the, you must have adjective with E-S-T as well. And one more, this time I have three spaces. So in this one, sharks are the heaviest. So heavy, heavy is a word that has two syllables, heavy, but we do not say most heavy. It's not most heavy. With, if it has two syllables, sometimes it is heaviest or at EST, and sometimes it is most. And that's what we will talk about next. So if it has more than three syllables and sometimes two syllables, some two syllables have EST, some are the same as three syllables but all three syllable words will have this sentence structure. So the subject plus verb to be plus the plus most, and then the adjective and then the object group. So subject verb to be, so example, teacher Ryan is the most beautiful teacher. So you have the word most because beautiful has three syllables, beautiful, the same as the comparative adjective, we use more beautiful. If it's the superlative, we use most beautiful. And you must say teacher because teachers are a group of people. So again, we'll do a little bit of practice. So parrot, if the adjective is beautiful, then we will say the most beautiful. I think this is review for most of you. So I will go a little bit quickly and we are running out of time. So a tiger is the most dangerous. Dangerous. The next one, horses, da -da -da. pets. So horses are the most expensive pets. Okay. So here is just a review of the 10 newer adjectives. Maybe you know, maybe you don't know that I wrote. And this one also includes the superlative version of it. So again, there is brave, braver, bravest, calm, calmer, calmest, clean, cleaner, cleanest, attractive, more attractive, most attractive, honest, more honest, most honest, confident, more confident, most confident, generous, more generous, most generous, powerful, more powerful, most powerful, loyal, more loyal, most loyal, patient, more patient, 
and most patient. Okay. So that is all that I have for you today to learn about comparative and superlative adjectives. I hope that most of it was review, but some of it, maybe you learned some new vocabulary words. And so you got to see sentence structure as well to know the difference between comparative and superlative adjectives. And if it's only one syllable or more than three syllables. So, and that's all for today. So I will say goodbye and see you tomorrow.